I'm running errands because I am actually heading to New York City next week with Sephora. So it's the first day of fall and I am genuinely impressed because why does it actually feel like autumn outside? It feels so good. The weather is beautiful, mashallah. Right now it is 26 degrees Celsius, which is like 80, 80 Fahrenheit. I've never stopped using Celsius. Like it just makes more sense to me in my brain. It is Saturday and we got some errands that we need to run. I, oh, just found some granola in my hijab. I'm running errands because I am actually heading to New York City next week with Sephora. For Sephora, I am so, so pumped. Y'all don't understand. I'm so excited. Excited to see the squad again. Excited to attend Sephora. Excited to attend the master classes and learn more about beauty, makeup, and just to be in NYC, explore the city, be in my influencer bag. I am literally vibrating with excitement so we have a bunch of errands that we need to run um i need to hit up sephora of course because i need to get some travel makeup i need to go to target to get some travel items but yes you guys i asked you guys on the community tab what video you guys wanted to see from me and everyone voted for the prep and pack and i was actually crossing my fingers that y'all would vote for this video because there's nothing that gets me more pumped than a prep and pack video i be feeling like i'm going on the trip with the youtuber <laughs> So um, I'm so excited to be doing this video today. I don't plan on packing just yet because I have a bunch of laundry I need to do. But if you watched my last week vlog, then you'd know I went and did a bunch of shopping. And even after the vlog, I did some more shopping. And I found a lot of stuff. So I think I have my outfits in my brain. I just have to see how they look on my body. That's a whole nother story because they be looking fly up here, okay? It's when you gotta actually bring them to life, put them on, that's when things start to not add up so nevertheless I'm excited I'm a little bit worried because I'm gonna miss Mimi one and two I know she's gonna miss me like she's just started adjusting to her new home and I was thinking of putting her into a resort just so that like she could be on a schedule like the same schedule that I put her on but my mom has volunteered to step in I know I know crazy but she's like indirectly volunteered to step in she's let me know that she'll be working from home so she could just look after her Honestly, I'd love that because Mimi need to spend some more time with her grandma. We'll see if she ends up staying home or not. I have to either way schedule the sitter by today or schedule with my mom for today. I cannot procrastinate that another day because I need to make sure that my baby is going to be taken care of. So yeah, welcome to the vlog. I actually forgot to mention, I got a new camera. This is not the new camera I'm recording on though, but I have been contemplating getting the Canon G7X Mark II mainly because TikTok. I can't even lie to y'all. I can't even cap. TikTok sold me and I really, really, really want the camera for pictures mainly. I'd love if it could do both for me, pictures and vlogging, but um, I cracked and I ordered it. If it's not good for vlogging, at least for what I'm looking for, I will end up returning it because I don't think traveling with two cameras makes sense like I just want one camera that does everything for me so if the Canon ends up being that camera where I'm able to vlog and get my photos on it then that's it I'm gonna keep the camera but if I can only get good pictures on it I think I'm just gonna dead it and return it because I'm not even a big picture person anyways I just love how the pictures come out from that camera so we'll just have to see what happens and I'm thinking if it's here on time that I will use it to vlog my New York trip so you'll just have to watch the next vlog to see if we end up vlogging with the new camera but I know a lot of people are definitely like in the middle of the Sony ZV-1 and the Canon G7X Mark II like everybody who wants to start vlogging always starts with those two cameras and let me just say my experience with the Sony ZV-1 has been absolutely beautiful. I love this camera so much. The footage is beautiful. The color grading, the focus, like everything about it is great. I think my only downside would be the battery life. Like this camera dies so quickly. Everywhere I go, I have to travel with at least three batteries on me because I know at some point my camera is going to die and I'm going to need to put a new battery in back to back. So yeah, other than that, like that's really my only complaint. And I guess now that I know that the Canon G7X Mark II takes such wonderful pictures, I wish the Sony ZV-1 did the same, but the Sony ZV-1 doesn't have a flash. 
so i won't call it a downside because again i'm not a big picture person and i did not buy this camera for pictures i bought it for vlogging but in the same breath like i'm just kind of like mm, now that i know that there's cameras out there that take wonderful pictures i'm kind of like dang sony you couldn't just put a little flash in there for us so yeah i made it to the bank i'm gonna go do my adult things and then i'm gonna catch you guys later so the errands are done for the most part i'll show y'all everything i got once i get home but i thought i was gonna find a lot more travel makeup at sephora but i was wrong i left with like three things target was successful as well i still actually do have to stop at sprouts right before i get home to just pick up some oat milk nothing crazy but i did get myself a little treat to celebrate you know how i do because errands are not easy it is not easy running errands it feels like i always have errands okay so in order to get them done with ease even though the errands themselves are also kind of treats in a way um i like to just incorporate another treat to make it even more fun and easy so i did stop by juice tap oh my god they put so much nutella in this bowl oh my goodness here it is y'all how delicious does it look i got the acai base with the nutella to nutella co toppings i'm sorry i normally get the darth vader base but after trying out a new bowl a couple vlogs ago i decided that i actually like the acai base and i miss acai bowls like for real for real acai bowls so i got the acai base and the nutella co toppings and i'm about to go in okay there's nothing more satisfying than eating in my car i don't care how many messes i make in here i just love being in this little cocoon in this little space with my food and my phone watching my videos like there is like nothing beats this this moment right here that i'm about to have nothing beats it There's no such thing as being behind in life. There's only where you are on the path that you are creating. To be behind means to be behind someone walking the same path as you. No one is walking the same path as you. So I just finished planning out my upcoming week and I just realized I never got to show you all the stuff I bought yesterday. I'm gonna start off with the stuff I got from Sephora. The first thing I picked up is this Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Matte Setting Spray. If you are a fan of the one size mattifying spray, you're gonna love this. And let me explain. I actually used to use and still do use the one size spray. However, I can never use it by itself because I feel like it's a finishing mattifying spray. It's not really like a setting spray that helps your makeup melt together so i would use that in combination with the charlotte tilbury setting spray and you know everybody knows those two together match made in heaven i personally feel like this one product does what those two products do together in one spray bottle this product somehow manages to melt your makeup together whilst also sealing it in place so it does not move i also picked up the one size translucent powder right now i've been using the full size one and oh my gosh i don't know why i didn't start using it sooner this setting powder is out of this world okay the normal size one is way too big to travel with so i went ahead and picked up a travel size one and then last but not least i got this pharmacy green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm i have really been loving using the pharmacy strawberry shortcake cleansing balm recently however they don't have that one in a travel size so i just picked up the green clean i'm pretty sure there's no difference in like the ingredients except for probably like the fragrance I've really been loving this like low-key more than the elemis cleansing balm and if you know me you know i am a diehard fan of the elements cleansing balm however sometimes when it gets into your eyes your mouth the crevices in your face it is not a pleasant experience so i have been loving this one for that reason it just feels a lot safer to use and i'm pretty sure pharmacy is a clean brand so that makes it even better so that's about it for what i got from sephora I want to show y'all a couple things that I got from Target. First and foremost, these Honey Pot pads. I already opened them because I am on my cycle, but I love these pads. I swear down that they actually help my cramps. Like, I'm not kidding. Every other pad that I use, like, my periods are excruciating. So, love these. I also got a huge bottle of hand sanitizer because I have so many, like, little bottles of hand sanitizer. And instead of replacing them, I'd rather just refill them. So, went ahead and picked up 
this. I also got a small bottle of hand sanitizer just in case I lose the other one that I have. I got some more travel disinfecting stuff. I never ever ever travel without these. I always bring Lysol spray so that whenever I get to the hotel I can spray down all the surfaces and devices. Then I have my hand wipes and surface wipes as well just for that extra deep clean especially like toilets and stuff like that. I like to make sure that everything is squeaky clean when I am traveling. Um, I got some witch hazel facial toner i haven't used this stuff in ages i picked this up on a whim i just thought the bottle was so cute because it was so small i didn't really need this and i got some q-tips because i am running out last but not least another thing i didn't need i just came across this little button up this little corduroy lavender shirt and i just thought it was so cute i didn't even get this for the trip y'all i just thought it was cute okay and i told y'all in my last vlog that i've really been loving blouses so every time i see what wait I bought this in self-checkout. I didn't even realize that this was still on it. No. Dang. I bought this before y'all try and come for me. It's on the receipt. I got this. But dang, I shouldn't have gone through self-checkout because I did not know that this even came on the shirt. That's hella annoying. So I can't wear this. Even if I wanted to wear it, I have to go to Target to get them to take it off. But yeah, that is it for what I got from Target. I made a last minute stop at Sprouts because I needed to get some oat milk. And then I also picked up these organic plantain chips for the plane ride because I love a little snacky snack when I'm traveling. And shout out to Phil Kofer for putting me onto these because these are actually really good. I love how simple the ingredients are as well. And I am just a plantain chip girly. Now, these are not like your typical plantain chips, like, you know, soaked down, dripping and an oil hella ripe sweet like it's not like that at all these definitely taste healthy but they satisfy my craving and i just like that the ingredients are super super simple it is sunday so we got a little bit of sunday reset that we need to get into i need to clean my room i need to clean the office i need to clean the entire house so let's not waste any more time let's get straight into it
I just unboxed my brand new MacBook. I'm about to set it up, but upgrading was the best thing I could have ever done for myself. Like just looking at this alone, I don't know why I thought I needed a bigger MacBook, but I'm so excited about this one being so much more smaller and compact. It'll be so much easier to travel with this and just not as much of a headache as my previous MacBook. The one I had before this was the MacBook Pro 16 inch. I think I got it in 2019, 2020. And it lasted me a pretty good minute, I would say, especially considering the heavy duty work I be doing. I'm not exactly sure about the specifics of this laptop. Um, if you guys are absolutely interested, I'd be happy to put them down below. But I did do some research to make sure that, you know, like the processor is the right fit, the memory is the right fit, all of that intricate stuff. I made sure that this would be the perfect laptop for me and the type of work that I'd be doing. Y'all, Mimi has been testing me today. Why are you eating the carpet? Mimi, stop. The only time she ever listens to me is when she sees me get up. She does not listen to me when I raise my voice. I have to get up and that's when she knows she's doing something that she's not supposed to be doing. Just a minute ago, she ate something off the floor. I have no idea what she ate. I just saw her munching on something. And I guess we are gonna find out in a couple hours when she poops it out. But she's literally, she's gnawing at the carpet. That's what. Oh my God, if she can't act right, She's gonna spend a lot more time in that office space, okay? She wasn't actually even supposed to be released into the rest of this house so soon. It's just because she's such a fast paced learner that I decided to allow her to, you know, explore the rest of the house. And she's adjusted like very smoothly. She just keeps on eating every single thing that she sees. And I think it's a kitten thing because I have never witnessed a grown cat eating things that are clearly not edible. Goodness gracious. Anyways, new MacBook on deck. I did get a case, but I'm returning the case because I ordered a case that I really wanted off of Etsy. And I was like, let me order a just for the meantime case off of Amazon Prime. But the just for the meantime case honestly was not worth it. Like it, it ain't even look good for the meantime. So I ended up returning it. I do have a laptop bag, which I guess I'll show y'all. It's literally nothing special. It's just this little gray fabric bag from my laptop so every time i'm traveling i can just make sure that it's safe so yeah i'm very heavy-handed i want to say with my laptop i use it basically every single day so it's prone to damage which is why i ended up getting a case for it and it should be here within the next week or so but i am going to take this with me to new york so i wanted to make sure that i unbox it beforehand all this chatting and vlogging and all the things I've shown y'all and we still haven't packed a thing yet. Last night, I had a bunch of laundry that I needed to do, so. Mimi, stop it. I had a bunch of laundry that I needed to do last night anyway, so it really wasn't gonna work if I started packing last night, but now that all my laundry is done, how about we get into some packing?
So it is T minus one day till we leave to New York. I'm so excited. I'm almost all packed. Y'all saw me put my clothes, my shoes, my bags, all of that stuff in my checked bag. We still, however, have to pack some toiletries. I need to get my carry-on situated and still have like my electronics and stuff. Actually, everything is laid out on the bed. So these are like my toiletry bags if you will i actually have shower shoes in here that i never travel without because they come in handy when you don't want to step barefoot in somebody's tub here we have mimi who will not be accompanying us on this trip unfortunately oh i forgot to show you my makeup bag everything is already packed in here i didn't really think i need to show y'all the specifics of what i take but yeah makeup brushes are clean i have so much makeup in here it's insane you guys this bag alone is probably at least like seven pounds once um, my toiletries are packed all that's left is basically everything that's going in my carry-on so i actually got this little rare beauty makeup bag in pr but i use this for my electronics so i like to put like my chargers and my wires important stuff like that on top and then in the bottom half i like to put my camera equipment and then of course i have my laptop my journal you already know i've been very serious about journaling these days so i will be traveling with my journal because i journal every single morning and sometimes multiple times a day if needed and then i have my phone tripod i have my blue light glasses and then in this pouch i actually just have my daily vitamins which these are gross guys but they are vegetarian so there's no like animal products in them or anything but they don't taste very good but they do the job and then i also have some energy gummies from lemmy i also packed these organic plantain chips i guess you could call this like my bathroom pouch because i like to keep my poopery in here i have wipes in here at all times i have flushable wipes in here as well and stuff to help me disinfect when needed and then i literally bring this everywhere with me whether i'm traveling or not this is always in my tote bag i just like to keep random stuff in here like pads panty liners touch-up powder mints um chapstick lip balm everything you can think of is in there and of course i have my wallet and a little first aid kit so everything over in this section is what is going in my carry-on no this is not going in my carry-on this is going in my personal item here is my personal item it's clean so i don't mind placing it on the bed that was also a gift from rare beauty when i went on my first ever brand trip can you guys believe this is going to be my third ever brand trip and just earlier this year i went on my first with rare beauty how crazy is that I actually have like a cool little bag divider in here that i showed y'all a while back actually let me just take it out so y'all can see basically this right here goes inside of the bag it's like a little insert and it helps you organize all of your belongings so let's say you have a passport you could probably put it in here wallets water bottle things like that it's gonna help me organize all of my stuff i'm honestly just so excited to be traveling with my new 14 inch because lord knows how difficult traveling with that big old 16 inch macbook pro that thing is so heavy and i don't know why so i'm very excited to travel with this one on that note i guess we can start putting some of these things in their places. I'm not here. 
just like that, you guys, we are packed. We're ready to go to New York. It's storming outside if you can hear it in the background. I pray that it does not affect my travel plans tomorrow. But child, I'm just so excited, so blessed, so thankful. I don't think Mimi is very excited about me leaving. I'm not excited about leaving her behind either, but it won't be long. And I'm sure it'll just make the heart grow fonder. So on that note, I hope today's vlog was informative. I hope you learned something. And I will see you guys in next week's vlog. Bye guys.